Now we're going to look at a concave deformation on this commercial vehicle. The deformation is particularly difficult. There is a whole process to follow. I had two vinyls, a cast vinyl and a calendared vinyl. We can do this deformation only with the cast vinyl. To understand how vinyl works, I've applied two pieces. In the first case, if we start applying in this way, we go into the deformation. At the beginning, we had 10 centimeters, now we have 5 centimeters. But we still have to stretch. We carry on and use the thermal gun. We heat. The more we go into the recess, the more we stretch the vinyl. When we go into the recess, we have to understand that we concentrate the deformation in the recess. This application is not right. The vinyl will lift off. With this piece, I'm going to show you the right way. Instead of concentrating the deformation in the recess, we're going to spread the deformation on the flat area. Such an application should be done with a glove and not with a squeegee. It is important to heat on the flat area. Remember the vinyl will stretch where you put the heat. If we heat the vinyl here, the vinyl will stretch exactly at this spot. And the same will happen. We have to heat the vinyl in the flat area and apply it directly on the inside. In order to spread the deformation nicely and to get into the recess with the minimum of stretching, we heat the vinyl on the upper area. We maintain the temperature. We insist on the ridge. And we go directly into the recess. Then, without heating, we apply the flat area. After a deformation with a cast vinyl, we're now going to look at the same deformation with a calendared vinyl, the SUPTAC. I've applied the vinyl here without stretching. Such a calendared vinyl is not suitable for this type of deformation. In this case, there is no other solution than to cut the vinyl. We're going to use this knife because it has a plastic edge, which will allow me to do a cut a little bit on the inside. We're now going to apply this area. We start at the rear of the vehicle. Firstly, we have to adjust and position the vinyl with our magnet. We're going to make a hinge on the upper part of the vehicle. We start the application in the upper part, beginning at the center towards the edge. The squeegee is slightly inclined to make the air egress easier.
The upper part is now applied. We remove the liner. We're going to stretch the vinyl. We start applying in the center, always with squeegee, inclined to make air egress easier. We have a good look to make sure the graphic is correctly positioned. Now we're going to remove the remaining liner and apply the vinyl down to the bottom. The vinyl is stretched and we can now apply it. You will notice a few waves in the vinyl. We're going to use the thermal gun to remove these wrinkles and stretch the vinyl. We're going to do this deformation with a glove. The air will egress here and there. We're going to begin in this area. Heat the flat area and immediately tackle the deformation. We mark the edge of the deformation. We heat the vinyl and we go directly into the recess of the deformation. Then without heat, we apply the flat part to egress any air. On the upper part of the same operation, we heat the flat area, we thoroughly heat the ridge. And we go directly into the recess of the deformation. Still without heating, we apply the rest of the vehicle body, with the squeegee inclined for easy air egress. You will notice here a small shift in the image. We're going to correct the shift of the image with the deformation since we're going to stretch this area.
If you have any bubbles, do not insist with the squeegee. Simply press down with the finger and then they'll disappear. To finalize the application, we're now going to heat the inside. We heat and slide with the finger, which will allow us to flatten the structure of the adhesive. Don't leave any air in the micro-channels and check there are no micro-bubbles that come up under the thermal gun. Because right after we have to heat to 90 degrees Celsius, 194 Fahrenheit. Our deformation is now finished. We are assured that there are no micro-bubbles in the recess of the deformation. We're now going to heat to 90 degrees Celsius, 194 Fahrenheit, to destroy the memory effect. Now we are 94, 98, 90 degrees. To finish the application, all that remains to do is cut the vinyl on both sides of the seal.